Welcome to Art Starts Explores, our province of play. Are you ready to get creative with us this week? Let's review our three basic rules that guide us through our exploration and play. Rule one is respect. We want to respect ourselves, anyone we're making with, our tools and making space, and the lands and waterways where we're making. How can you practice respect when you explore, play, and make? Rule two is no expectations. If we're not expecting something to turn out good or bad, we're open to it going in a whole bunch of different ways. And that means that all respectful, creative explorations are great, regardless of what it ends up looking like. Try to do things you've never tried before and ask yourself, what will happen if I... Rule number three is nothing is for keeps. Everything we make together is a test, or a draft, or creative playtime. We're just trying things out. What can you make or try today and then take apart or recycle? What can we learn by making and not keeping? These are our three rules for when we explore together every week. Okay, what will we explore together this week? Hello everyone, welcome to Art Starts Explores. This week we're exploring the theme, surprise. And in particular, we're explore surprise with food. Today, we're also bringing um, two types of art, which is photography and doodles. I hope we can create some um, magic sparks between these two forms of art. Okay, my name is Payson. I'm the public program coordinator at Art Starts. Um, I will start with a visual description of myself. I'm an East Asian man uh, with light skin tones um, and Today I'm wearing a pair of glasses that is round and with black frames, um, which just looks like the ones uh, Harry Potter wears. And my hair is light pink. I dyed it a few weeks ago because pink is my favorite color. Um, and it just reminds me of fairy tales and um, it's really magical and dreamy to me. Moreover, my jacket and shoes today are also in different shades of pink. What else? Today I invited two of my colleagues. I'm Alex. I am the program coordinator of the booking and touring department at Art Starts. I'm excited to be here with Payson and Alice. I will also do a visual description. I am a Southeast Asian woman with a light skin tone. I have very dark brown, almost black hair that goes down to my shoulder. It reminds me of dark coffee beans. I also wear silver frame glasses with very thick lenses that rest on my small nose bridge and tuck behind my small ears. Hi, I'm Alice. I'm the office coordinator at Art Starts and Schools, and I'm super excited to be here today as well. For my visual description of myself, I am an East Asian woman with skin that has a light yellow undertone, and I have very long waist length hair. And I would describe it as the color, or more so the flavor of dark and bitter chocolate. The color of my eyebrows and eyes match the deep shade of my hair. I'm also wearing a blank white button-up shirt and a t-shirt right underneath of it. Today, the materials we need will be mark makers, cameras. It can be any cameras available to you. Uh, we are using phones, um, paper, 
and most importantly, food. Okay, um, let's talk about what kind of surprises food can bring to us. Alex, would you like to start first? Yes. So something that surprises me with food is the temperature. Um, the temperature can change from hot to warm to cold, or the opposite, from cold to warm to hot. The temperature also reminds me of different elements. Payson, do you think you could pass me a red piece of paper? Yeah, for sure. Give me a second. Here you are. Thank you. So, when I eat something hot, it reminds me of fire. And I'm just going to draw some fire on this red piece of paper. And I'm just going to put it aside over here. And Payson, do you think you could pass me a blue piece of paper? For sure. Big or small? Small. Okay, cool. Thank you. Um, and when I eat something cold, it reminds me of ice. And here I am drawing an ice cube. But what's surprising is when you combine the two, it becomes melting ice and water. And so the temperature changes. And here is a melting ice cube. I'm just going to put that aside over here. Um, what about you, Alice? What surprises you about food? Ooh. I would say I'm always surprised at the ways that food is able to change my mood. When I'm tired, sad, or um, even just had a hard day, good food is always able to bring me light and comfort. I think food can make me feel excited, and it's an experience that is often shared with friends as well. Payson, could you please pass me a piece of blue paper? Yeah, for sure. Thank you. So sometimes when I get to have my favorite food or eat something super yummy, I become really happy. And that makes me feel like dancing with joy. Here, I'm just expressing through a drawing a smiley face and then writing the words dancing with joy underneath. I love the different ways that food affects my mood, and I think it often surprises me as well, because when I eat a dish from my childhood, it makes me think of home, and that puts me in a really happy and comforting mood. So I'm just drawing a thought bubble and then a little house inside of it. Oh my god, this is so cute, right? <laughs> Thank I can, you. Yeah, I can see like it looks like a person is thinking of home. Oh. <laughs> what about you, Payson? In what ways does food surprise you? I think for me, um, I would say texture. Because um, I don't usually drink sparkling water, but when I drink it, it always surprises me. Um, it's tasteless, but it's full of spiky bubbles that make me um, tingling. Yeah. So, how can I express that? Okay. Um, I will pick a paper and trying to doodle the tingling feel. The spiky bubbles. I will put it over there. Cool. I think um, we talk 
some aspects of surprises that food can bring to us. Um, this month is Asian Heritage Month, so we decide to explore more surprise with Asian food. So we're gonna go to um, Chinatown um, in Vancouver and to explore more and then to see what kind of surprises we might be able to encounter. So um, let's get started. So here's a video of Chinatown. Here's a video of the menu and just a brief overview of the dishes that we ordered and enjoyed on that day. Now we are back. Um, I believe we had an amazing experience, right? Yes, mm -hmm. I had a lot of fun. <laughs> Me too. Nice. So um, I had a lot of different uh, surprises with those food. Um, overall, we ordered four dishes and two drinks. We will begin um, to present them to you uh, from the appetizer to the mains and finally to the drinks. Um, yeah, to talk about what kind of surprises we've encountered at the restaurant. Alex, do you want to start? Sure. So. I was really surprised by the deep fried garlic squid with a lemon and pepper sauce that we ordered. Specifically, I was really surprised by the smell of the dish. The sauce had a garlicky and pepper scent, which I found to be very strong. And you'll see that it's just right here in the corner. Um, I'm just drawing some garlic to describe the scent but pair that with the lemon in the sauce as well and it added a bit of zest and a citrus sort of scent so the two combined really surprised me because i didn't realize that they would work so well together as a sauce and how the two different smells would blend in such a lovely scent. Um, what about you, Alice? Did anything surprise you during our trip to the restaurant? Definitely. Uh, this dish in particular that we ordered surprised me a lot. It was a hot and sour soup with chicken, tomatoes, and pineapple, and even mint leaves. Even though the soup was delicious, the combination of the mint leaves and pineapple was what was the most surprising. The pineapple in particular was a nice surprise. So I'm just drawing a little picture of a pineapple here. The color green I chose is a little too light, so maybe I'll go over that with a darker green. But as I was saying, the pineapple was a nice surprise because of the combination of flavors added a sour and refreshing taste to the soup. Because I didn't expect the flavor of the mint to be so strong, um, when I went to take a sip of the soup, I was shocked at how overpowering the mint leaves were. So here I am <laughs> just drawing a border of green mint leaves all over the dish because I really wanted to visually express that it almost took over the dish and kind of covered it. So even though I didn't realize how well it would work together, the combination of flavors were really good and balanced everything out. So just overall, I was really happy. And I think we all ended up enjoying the dish. It was something that we had never tried before and it was really yummy. And next for our next main dish, the second dish that we got surprised me as well. It was a filet beef loclac with an egg over rice. 
The main surprise was how one dish was able to change my mood so much. Before and after it was mixed, my mood was completely different. Here is a photo of how it looked before it was mixed. And here's a photo, or a video actually, of Alex just mixing all the components together and making it into one really yummy dish. So when the dish first arrived, the beef and egg were all separate, which didn't taste the way I expected it to. Here I am just visually expressing that I was a bit sad or disappointed, so I'm drawing a little disappointed face, but that quickly changes and switches into a happy face once I ate the dish that was all mixed together. So there's my little smiley face and it was so good. I think from the whole trip to the restaurant, it was my favorite dish overall. So I would love to just draw some little hearts and stars because I really ended up loving it. And as I kept eating it, my mood changed and surprised me because I became even more joyful and it made me really love the dish. What about you, Payson? Any surprises for you? Let me just move my things to the side. Yeah, so um, we ordered another rice dish, which is uh, fried rice um, with Chinese sausage, eggs, and green onions. Um, also carrots. Um, it's a such interesting um, combination as well, as you mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. But what surprised me was the taste um, because it brings me back home. I was so surprised. Like, how come? It just reminds me um, the the fried rice I always had with my friends um, in the late night uh, market um, in my hometown. Yeah. I really liked it. So, um, I'm gonna also add some doodles on top of this photo. What I'm gonna do is to borrow um, what Alice um, drew earlier, a home. But I'm gonna make it bigger. in a way to show how the rice dish, the fried rice, give me a sense of home. Yeah, home. Cool. Let's move things around. Okay, um, I think after the rice dish, we also had some drinks, right? Yes. Alex, mm -hmm. yeah. So my drink was the ice Vietnamese coffee with condensed milk. Um, and the process really surprised me. So here's a picture of the coffee before. And here it is now. So a part of the process was the coffee had to drip from the silver container into a separate glass with the condensed milk. So here's some drips that remind me of raindrops. Um, and then once they all dripped, I had to mix it all up. And so I have showed that as a squiggle and it turned into this drink right here. It's all mixed up into this deliciousness. Um, the temperature also surprised me of the process because before I mixed it, it was hot like the sun. Um, it was very warm, I almost burned my hand. And then when I poured it into the glass of ice, 
it reminded me of snow because it turned cold um, in just an instant. So it was really the process that surprised me. Oh, let me move that over. And Payson, you also had a drink yourself, right? Did anything surprise you about that? Yeah, the drink um, you can see now um, is called uh, Durian Mushik. This drink really surprised me um, because of the name. Yeah, um, it's called Mushik. I really like the sound. Um, it's very, um, how to say, echoey. Can I say that? Yes, mm -hmm. I think so. I agree. Cool. Um, yeah. Um, so that's how I was surprised by the name because the sound is um, echoey and interesting. Now I'm gonna doodle it on the photo to make this line repeated and feels like echoes. Yeah. Okay. And I also want to say the taste of drink is also very good. I love mm -hmm. durian. Yeah. Okay. So these are the food we had at the restaurant. I'm going to move things around. Um, yeah, as you can see, uh, we were surprised by mood, name, a lot of different things. See, this is a Vietnamese drink, the fried rice, um, the beef um, luck rice, right? Mm -hmm. And then um, the soup. And wow, the appetizer. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so these are the all the things we had tried at the restaurant. Um, and not only um, they brought us um, surprises, but also joy. Um, yeah. And next, I want to point out that if you have a look of these photos, you can see um, we kind of create, um, how do you say? Um, let me pick the Vietnamese coffee from Alex. If you look within the photo, we actually are creating we are actually creating a unique style of photography because um, we add more elements to the photo, right? The, the line, the squiggly line. And if we have a look of Alice's um, uh, work, you can see it can become a visual journal because it's out of the photo and then we add more and more elements to it. And then it can also remind us um, how we had a soup, what kind of feelings the soup brought to us. And it becomes a visual journal. We hope um, you enjoy the process. Okay, let's put things away. Yes, and thank you, Payson, yes. for having us yes. here with you. We had thank a you. great time. <laughs> thank you. So Feel free to cling along with us. Yeah, we hope you enjoyed it.